So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and today more specifically uh, from Bear Gap here in uh, Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, just north of the towns of Wiccanisco and Lycans, not too far from you know Tower City and Williamsport, we're in that area. In the past, I filmed here quite a few times here in Bear Gap. Number of well, a lot, a lot of history in this gap. Because right up here is Bear Valley. There was a number of a lot of coal mining happened right here. A ton of coal mining. A lot of remains of the old collieries and all kinds of stuff that were here, part of the coal processing. Things have changed a little bit here. There's now uh, a new owner down there with some of the property where some of those ruins are. I'm currently on state game lands though here. Thus I have the orange on. So today, what am I gonna do today? I'm just gonna go exploring. Um, I have explored a lot of this area already, but I'm gonna go up into an area further up in the gap, more up on what's called Bear Mountain and do some exploring up there. I have no idea what we're gonna find. I was looking at the maps. It looks like there is some strip mining up there and who knows what else. Maybe we'll find some some ruins, some fossils, or who knows what we'll run into. This is one of these videos where I don't have too much of a plan, but we're just gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna throw a screenshot up, a map of where I am. So yeah, I know a lot of my viewers are familiar with this area, but just up here is where the, is the collapsed tunnel, one of the main tunnels that was up here, the coal mine tunnels. I forget offhand what its name was again. But on the other side of the mountain, it's often referred to as the Gratz Tunnel. Anyway, let's get going. Let's just let's just see what's out here. I know I, I stopped right here because there are some ruins right here behind me, which I'll show you in a moment. All right, let's quit. Let's quit yapping and uh, just get to exploring. Yeah, right here is where I started filming. Just down there is the, the old pathway. But I think they, there was a series of. Uh, I know, I know a power line came through here. There was a power plant down here. I filmed that in previous videos. There's ruins of it down there, but it's a private property now. But they had a power line came through here. I think you can see the, the two anchor points for it. There's probably more. And this power line would have continued all the way. There's this bare gap through here. And back through there is Bear Valley. And I filmed up there. That's where that old, there's an old abandoned ghost town up that way called Bear Valley. That's where that power line went to. And you can find, actually see some of the the, uh, the towers, the metal towers from that power line out that way. You can see the orange water there, the abandoned mine drainage water. All right, and up ahead is the collapsed, the collapsed tunnel. There's really nothing to see anymore. Right here would have been, back in the day, was a huge mine tunnel that went to the side of the hill here. We got the, the orange water flowing out. Looks like we have a bit of a dump up here. Not sure what this is. Looks like a hood to a car or something. Sit out here. Yeah, there's a trail that goes up that way. But uh, oh man, I think we'll save that for another day. I want. I kind of want to go this way today. Yeah, that abandoned mine drainage water, that orange stuff, is a huge problem here in Pennsylvania. Into coal mining areas. It's caused a lot of, you know, environmental damage to things. That water isn't, uh, it's like it's not nice clean water, obviously. That orange stuff you see is basically rust. When the mines were abandoned, and this was an unforeseen uh, dilemma. It wasn't so, yeah, it's just kind of difficult. When the, when the mines were abandoned, uh, they filled up with water. And coal has a certain 
um, iron content to it and iron rust. So when the mines filled it with water, yeah, you get this rusty stuff. And there's other minerals in there too that reacted with the water. Not all mine water is orange. Some actually has like a bluish color to it. And then it flows out of the mines. It looks like this. And you saw they had some like retention ponds down there. The purpose of those is kind of, yeah, to help remediate the situation. I'm not going to get into that, but I'm not sure how well it works. But that's what that is. We'll take a look down there again. Yeah, so down there is where we were, looking at the collapsed mine entrance. And you can see all the abandoned mine water running out. Right there's one of the retention ponds. Yeah, so right under here, right under here somewhere there's a tunnel. And I've been to the other side of this mountain where that tunnel comes out already. And what we're walking on now is the old Bear Valley Road. If we stayed on this for a number of miles, we would get to that abandoned village of Bear Valley. But we're not going to do that today. And flowing down there is Bear Creek. There's actually another more uh, better type of dirt road over there. That's a state game lands road. That's all, that also takes you to Bear Valley. Coming up to a much larger. Yeah, this is the one that takes all the Bear Valley. Not sure. Yeah, I've never been on this one. I just just to choose now which way to go. I've never been at this junction before. All right, I'm. All right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go up this way a little bit. Cause I think I saw th something on the map that I want to check out, but uh, my goal is to is to end up going this way. There's some old strip mines I want to check out back this way, maybe find some fossils and stuff. But we will just take a peek out this way first. So I haven't turned around yet to go the other way. At this point, I probably won't. And our main path goes on a little bit. I think there is, like I said, I think there's something down there I want to check out, but there's a path that goes up that way, which I think I remember seeing on the maps. And up there is where there's several strip mines up this way. So I'll probably end up going up there, I think. But I, like I said, I want to walk down here just a little bit more. Or so I say, we'll see what happens. This whole section is new to me. Actually, I see some interesting stuff up there all right we gotta keep going this way just a little bit there may be nothing down here that you know sometimes we see things on the map you some i think sometimes we just want to see things and it's really nothing anyway but i want to check it out all right well there is some stuff here nothing extra special i don't think but i'm not sure what this is right here Okay, maybe, maybe this is something interesting. I'll have to take a look down the top there. I have no idea what this is, so let's go check it out together. Oh, well, it goes down. It looks like there's some old stairs going down. There's a date over here. Let's say 1919 right there. 1919. <laughs> September 20th, 1919, this was made. That's pretty cool. We will get down to the bottom. I have an idea of what this might be. Looks like there's some other names here. James 
McConnell or something like that. Interesting. All kinds of names. So whoever made this, they put their names in the concrete. Let's get to the other side. Um, let's see if we can look in. All right, so we're gonna head down here carefully. You, you know, just a warning: you do gotta be careful in coal mining in coal mining country. Places like this, you know, watch where you step. I think this looks safe enough. Let's just open here. Huh. I'm kind of curious. I get the idea this was all underground, this point, this part at one time. Interesting. Not sure if it went down anymore or not. I don't see any like steps going further down. Yeah, to me it looks like it used to be either an entrance or one of those like escape escape ways from the mine. Like this at one time take you down and that was the way into the mine out this way because I see it there's a number of other pits here that, that could be a what they call subsidence collapse and maybe this there was a mine here and this just collapsed there could be a shaft that goes up into the hills there that's what I'm gonna guess if you think or know otherwise you can mention the comments but it's pretty fascinating unless it did go down further at one point all right, pretty cool. Yes, right there's our, our feature and just across the road is one of the things I saw on the maps. There's this trench and out there I'm seeing, I think a, it's filled with water back out there, but I think a deep, I think there's a deep hole back there. Might just go take a look back there, check it out. Well, actually I didn't go back and check that one out because there's one, there's one right here by the road, the old road. These are what I saw in the satellite images I wanted to check out down this way. I figured they were filled with water, but I wanted to just double check. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, covered in ice. Yeah, so it's more what you call like a, a pit mine. Come springtime, this will be filled with frogs, wood frogs. They'll be chirping away in there. Looking forward to hearing that sound. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna turn around and head back. There's probably more stuff this way, but that wasn't my plan. Not that I had much of a plan today, but I didn't wanna go too far this way. So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna head up that trail I pointed out just a few minutes ago. Looks like there's some stuff up there. Although that, I was expecting to find that little, what do you call it, gangway down. I just saw the two pits on the map. This is why I like these ramble, these just random explorations. Never know what you're gonna find. All right, so we just came from back that way and I can kind of see that little structure up there. And our trail kind of goes up that way, but I see, we're gonna head up this way first. briars I see some like coal stacked up here yeah so check this out this is there, there's a name for this coal it is coal but it's the sometimes it's the lower quality coal that they would stack out here like this sometimes I just full of pits and trenches up here. Wow. Okay. What's this over here? <laughs> like an old wagon? Okay. Yeah, some sort of old wagons out here. Oh yeah, it's like an old I mean, like an old wheelbarrow of some sort. Doesn't look that old though either. But maybe it is. Interesting. Yeah, that old wagon slash wheelbarrow might be the remnants of the bootlegging days when they 
when these mines shut down and people came up here and dug their own coal. I'm seeing some some metal stuff up there. You know, all these areas are like little pit mines. They would dig out coal. Yeah. And you kind of want to stay out of areas like this because you don't know. You know, there's leaves and debris in there. It could be kind of like a false floor. It might look stable, but you might like uh, go down quite a bit more if you're not careful. All right, let's see what some of these metal pieces are up here. Oh, okay, I see. Well, here's some stuff. But what I saw down here, okay, this looks like an old, oh, reins of an old car. Okay. Wow. Not sure. There's some chrome on those. I mean, that looks definitely carish. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, here's a look at it from the other side. Kind of like the wheel well there. So there's probably an old car sitting in here, an old truck. And I think I know why. Pretty sure why. And I've come across these old vehicles out in the woods like this before in coal country. And from what other people have told me, it makes sense is like the bootleggers, you know, they would bring an old truck up here and they would use the engine, you know, for the coal mining process up here. Not to drive the truck. A lot of times the, the truck was stripped down of everything. Just, you know, the engine. And the engine would be used to lift the, the hoist up and down and up out of the mine and stuff like that. It was a source of power for the coal miners. A simple source of coal, a simple source of power for them. Just bring an old vehicle up here, park it, and hook the engine up to wherever you needed it to move. And then they just got left out here. In fact, there's, there's one about four miles down that way as well. All right. Let's keep exploring. So I'm kind of off trail now. Walking along what I believe was the old strip mine. This is all artificial here. There's a steep drop off down there. Kind of flattens out and goes up. So that there was a vein of coal that went through here and they just kind of stripped it out. But there's more of these little collapses and stuff. I think there's a bigger one up here. Check that out. These trees. Oh yes, you can see it's open way down the bottom there. So this is one of the areas you gotta be careful of because you know this it could be filled with leaves and look like it's safe to go down there, but then as soon as you step on the leaves you go down. I'm not sure how far, how, oh, how far down it goes, but I'm not going to go down and find out either. And another possibility for what we're seeing back there is there could be along where I'm walking here, there could be, I'm stuck on a branch, there, there could be a uh, actual coal tunnel running underneath this ridge right here, what they call deep mining. What they would do is they would dig a tunnel into the hillside and when they found a seam of coal they would dig up through the seam of coal and the coal would fall by gravity down to wagon or carts below and then they'd haul it out what they called the main haulage tunnel and they would stop they would dig so far until they got to like the roots of the trees and then they would stop but sometimes it was um, sometimes there's a collapse you know some it might be only a couple of feet below where they stopped digging upwards and then sometimes that collapses in called a subsidence collapse so that one hole back there that's that's what that could be as well just a little unnerving because we could be walking on top of some of those potential collapses right now they're more over there because I see another little one so that's another reason to be careful when you're out here exploring don't just carelessly walk into any depressions like that 
you might not you might not come out yeah, yeah just still just exploring along down one of these trenches again <laughs> definitely cold country haven't found any fossils yet sometimes when you come in areas like this there's just fossils everywhere and other times it's kind of a bust we're not done yet and you know, out there is bare gap you can see the mountain and there's a we well, can't see the other side too well but down this somewhere there's where we parked so we're kind of making our way back in that direction just up higher This rock up here looks potentially fossily. Of course, this the of course the rock layers go the yeah, the rocks go in layers. There was a coal, seam of coal laying right on top of this, following the side of the mountain. That's what they that's what they dug out of this trench was the coal running that way, like a rock layer. And this was the layer directly underneath. It's a shale layer made of shale. A lot of times there are fossils in that layer. That's what I was looking for. So I'm gonna poke around here a little bit if I can get up there. All right, so I got up a little bit closer. This is really crumbly stuff, but like, I don't know if you can make it out. My finger is right there, but there is some remnants of some tree fossils. It looks like branches. I'm not sure if the camera's picking them up too well, but. But this type of shale is very crumbly, so I'm not gonna really find. I guess I do see some tree-ish looking things but nothing uh overly interesting so i'm gonna make my way back down here keep on going and then check out this weird rock it has like a orangish color to it all these like little cavities and stuff i you know what? i just i just read about this recently but what this was it's often found in these coal areas as well might have some iron content in it, which is why it's orange. Anyway, if you can refresh my memory on that, it'd be pretty cool. And yeah, now you can get a better view of the gap. There's the one side of the mountain. There's the other. I think that's often called Short Mountain over there. I've been on parts of that hill, that mountain. Man, there's just so many areas up here to explore. Even though I've been up here number of times already but uh, we started the video down there somewhere so at this point at this point I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet again I mean that coal that coal trench keeps on going but uh we'll see all right I think I'll just keep going this way for now and it is snack time and we're using the new bag for the first time today as well just got some beef jerky, the beef and cheese. Got some Nutri-Grain bars and some other yummies in there. So we sit out and look at Bear Gap. All right, well, snack time has been over for a while now. And lo and behold, I believe this is the road way at the beginning of the video where I said I was going to turn around and go back and explore that other way. I think this is the, what this is. Yeah, so if we would go down that way, we'd get to that crossroads. But since we're here, let's go. I've never been up here before, so let's just check this out. Well, this is actually heading to the top of the mountain. And I don't, I don't want to go that way today, actually, all the way up. I wasn't sure where this was going to go, if it was going to, like, you know, curve down to the bottom. Just kind of want to, I want to start making my way, you know, back down through the gap to where I parked way down there. But that is not going that way, so we're going to have to, uh, uh we'll see here. 
trying to find another way down. Oops. It's pretty steep. Wow. Uh, yeah, that is like super steep down there, so. All right. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. So I backtracked a little bit and found a less steeper way down. I found something interesting down here. Still looking for fossils and stuff, but check out this thing. This is like shale, some kind of shale rock, but this inside here looks like it looks like a cannonball. This is a concretion. There's they're usually made, there's usually some sort of organic material that's in there. And it got surrounded by sediments and stuff. They're always readily recognizable because they're in you know, rocks like this, and then you see something that looks very different. So, looks like a cannibal. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, get this out, because this rock is pretty fragile. Kinda curious what that might be in there. Sometimes there's nothing in there. Sometimes there's cool stuff, though. We'll see. Yeah, the rock around this thing is really fragile, and the rock layers are even in the shape of the concretion. This one was right here. So when they peel off, they're curved. That's pretty cool. So, even if we get it out, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it open, though. We'll see. Well, I'm going to have to come back with more specialized tools. <laughs> I've been using my makeshift uh, stone axe here, which isn't, you know, well, it worked to get stuff off the top, but, you know, I've been trying to wedge it out and break it open, but it's in there firmly. I need something that's not, I need some more modern tools rather than something from the Stone Age to get this out. But uh, we'll see. I'm not gonna open it today. Just kind of uh, beating up my hands with that using that rock. So we'll let it go. It'll probably eat away at me tonight. Kind of wondering what was in there, but it is what it is. Could be nothing, though. All right, we are just about just about back down at the bottom where we started. You can, all through distance, you might be able to see the orange from those retention ponds. So we've kind of come full circle. And there's a trail going on up that way too that I've got to explore someday. I think I pointed this out in the beginning of the video, but not today. Don't have the time for it. the way it is on these shorter winter days. Don't have as much time. Well, as I was tripping and stumbling my way down these rocks, I did find a fossil here. There's another tree fossil. Right over there. So cool. Don't often find them in this kind of rock, but here it is. Clearly a piece of a tree. All right, well we did find one nice size fossil here at the end of it all. So I'm still curious as to what was in that concretion. Maybe nothing, but it'll probably bother me. All right, and here's that car that we saw way at the beginning of the video again. So I'm gonna say farewell to you here. Had a fun time. It's been a while since I've didn't, done one of these videos. I mean, I do rambling about videos, but I haven't done one recently, you know, rambling around in coal country. It's always fun because you just never know what you're going to find as far as old relics, like old cars and little wagons and fossils and all kinds of stuff. So, all right, like I said, several of the times though, if you do come exploring, place like this do be careful about going into even like little open pits like that and stuff because it could be uh, the last thing you ever do all right thanks for coming along and uh, I'll see you around